Parlay is a great new video conversation app where you get to engage in healthy football debate with friends, influencers, fellow football fans, and it's in a safe and respectful environment. It's easy to use. Just select the camera icon in the bottom right and invite anyone who follows you to a Parlay. So download the Parlay app from the iOS app store, scan the QR code, or click the link in the description to watch the debate and get involved in Parlay. I'm ready for this Parlay. This is a big debate today. Who's the better player? Phil Foden of Man City or our boy, the star boy, Saka? Yeah, and Saka's a quality player, but I'm telling you, it's not easy to work under Pep Guardiola and Phil Foden has found a way to play in multiple positions over the last few years and be a key part of our success. Saka's done really good, you know what I mean? I don't make no bones about it, but he's not done anything yet, you know what I mean? He's, he's got to go and, and make a... I think, you know, he needs to... He needs to sort of put himself on uh, on an Arsenal team that can go and win trophies, go and win a couple of Premier Leagues, you know what I mean? Go and compete properly in the Champions League and win some domestic trophies as well. And I think if he does that, then we can talk. Phil Foden well, has done it. Hold on a minute. Yeah, yeah but he, he, you say that, but you know, he, like, he hasn't done nothing on the biggest stage. He was one of the best players of all the players at the World Cup this year. No, 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 I agree, but he's, he's got, he's got to go and win Engl trophies. Not just England, I'm on about... The whole World Cup, he was one of the best players in the world. I'm sure he was in the World Cup team. You know when they do uh, their World he's, Cup he's, 11? Or yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He was there or thereabouts. Foden mm -hmm. one. Right? No, no, so, no. I, I accept so, that this season, this season he's been better than Phil Foden. But what I'm saying I mean, is, it, I think to truly to say he's better than Phil Foden, Robert, for me, I think you've got to go, go, and, win some, go and win some titles, go and win some trophies. And, yeah, but and it's, easy to say that. Well, hold on, it's easy something. to say that. It's easy to say that because, you know what I mean, he's one of the players that are helping us to be challenging for the title this season so mm -hmm. it's easier for you to say that when it comes to Foden because you know obviously you guys have been winning titles over the last couple of seasons but he's one of the driving forces he's one of the guys that are pushing us on to give us a good chance of trying to win a title this season and as I mm -hmm. said on every time he's tested on the highest and the, on the biggest stage he always delivers he's consistent and even when you talk about multiple positions he's also played in multiple positions as well. He's played out um, on the left-hand side as well. Remember, when he first burst into the Arsenal team, he played as a left-back, and he was brilliant mm -hmm. in that position as well. So, I, I think I'm edging for my... I, I would do, but I'm edging for my guy. You know what I mean? I, 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 I like Foden. I think he's a class player, but it's got to be Saka. I mean, remember, Foden doesn't even get into your team right now. No, no, and, and, and as I said, I've, 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 I've not lied to you. Th th this, this season, Saka's, Saka's been better than, than Phil Ford. But over, I'm looking, I'm looking at, at, at an overall period over the last three to four, maybe five years, whatever. I think you've got to look at Phil Ford and what he's done for this team. Like, he's been a key part of our success. Premier Leagues, FA Cups, you know, domestic uh, cups. He's, he's done really well in the Champions League as well. Keep Gets up. goals and assists there. Keep, keep, look at, go and look at his appearances, Robbie, mate. He, he's playing 40 games a season for us. He really is. He's that, he's that important to our side. And um, for me, that's why I'm edging him. I just think he's, be, I think he's done more and, and been more important to a team that's been winning trophies. Saka this year, like I say, been clear. And I think if... I Stop think it's saying Saka that this year thing. Stop saying that just the, because it ain't just been this year. He did it last. As a matter of fact, funny enough, right? Our team over the past few years has been carried by him, like a 19-year-old and 20-year-old. He's been he's been the one carrying our team. You could even argue that the bigger responsibility of having to carry a lesser team over the last few years makes it even more impressive what he's done because Foden, as good as he is. Is in amongst such a, a great side with great players that it can, I wouldn't say, maybe easier is not the word to use, but it kind of is because you're, not, you're, you're in a winning side. You're in a team that's dominating, whereas Saka's been in a team that hasn't been dominating. And a lot of the times the pressure's fallen on him to lift us out of the, um, out of the problems mm -hmm. we've had. Yeah, I hear that. I, but my response to that is I could say, well, He's managed to keep players like Mares, Grealish, Sterling, Jesus, uh, Sa Sane. He's, he's managed to keep these players out of the team. So I could I could flip it back on that and say Pep Guardiola. You know what I mean? Has, has played him ahead of them players, and he's been a key part of our uh, of our team over the last few years. So 
Look, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a great debate, and I'm obviously, you know, you're backing your boy Saka, as you rightly do, and I'm going to give it Foden. Um, two, two great players, you know what I mean? Him, I think them three with Bellingham, mega, but I'm, I'm going to have to give it Foden, just because what I think he's done over the last three to four years, winning trophies, I think that means more, and that's why I'm going to give it Foden, bro. No, well, I'm giving it to my guy. I'm sorry, I'm giving it to Saka. He edges it for me. Um for the reasons I've explained. What I would say, if you want to make Foden better, you know what to do. You've done it before. You know the drill. Like what you did with Jesus and Zinchenko, you give him to us. And then we'll make him even better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know about that one, man. I feel, I'll, we'll, have to pass, we'll have to pass on that, Robbie, mate. We'll have to pass on that one. In this debate on parlay, I'm going to discuss a subject that I think is really interesting. Did Pep Guardiola make a big mistake when he sold us Zinchenko and Gabriel Jesus? Now, people say, oh, Haaland replaced Jesus. I don't think that's true. I think Haaland replaced Aguero. Because if you remember about this, Aguero left. We went for Kane. We ended up not getting Kane and didn't have a striker. Haaland is, isn't Jesus' replacement. Haaland's Aguero's replacement. Alvarez. Alvarez is Jesus' replacement, in my opinion. I think Alvarez is a better player than Jesus. Uh, I think he's got he's got what? pretty much the same. Yeah, Robin, oh, listen, God, what? listen. I think he's exactly the same sort of player. I think he presses just like Jesus, but he's a better finisher than Jesus. Jesus is not the t is not the best finisher in the world. I think Alvarez find is out. better than Jesus. I think yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. He's. I think he's not got everything. But he hasn't showed that yet. Has he not? Did you not see him in the World Cup? I'm not on about the World. You you you're, you're not Brazilian, are you? <laughs> yeah, right. I want about for Man City. I think I think if you look at his goals, goals per night, he's right up there. He's right up there. I, th I think he's a better finisher than than Jesus, and uh, he presses just the same as Jesus, you know. And I, a good player. You, you could argue, okay, maybe maybe Jesus is slightly better on the ball, and he can drop into the nine a little bit better, and, and sort of the false nine a little bit better than, than Alvarez. But I don't think there's much between them. And I think well, what, I, I've, I do, what I've liked about Jesus though for Arsenal, right, has been his dribbling yeah. ability. It's outstanding, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? The way he, and again, this is something I didn't used to see, but maybe it was at City, and obviously I'm not watching him every week like you guys are, but the way he picks the ball up and runs up um, at players and takes them on, always dribbling at them, going left, right, he, he's been outstanding. I mean, you know, even though luckily Eddie Nketiah has come in and has done really well since he's been out, but still, yeah. I can't wait for him to come back because... He's been so integral to everything we do. Uh, and what he'll, do, Alvarez, what he'll do as well, he'll bring other yeah, players into the game. Alvarez is a good player, but I, you, you, I can't... Nah, I think if you was com to compare the two of them this season, you'd have to say Jesus has been much better. I, I, I would you know, say... You can't include the World Cup stuff in there because that's, that's not for you. Well, I would, I would, I would say that you know, Jesus is getting more minutes. You know what I mean. But I think if you look at you look at Alvarez's goal record, he's got he's got he's got, a, got better goals per ninety than than Jesus. You know what's funny actually? That something that you mentioned there, which I agree with on the dribbling thing. I always thought that Jesus at City was better on the wing. I always thought he was a better winger because I think his dribbling, as you mentioned, is very, very good. And one thing that Jesus lets it, let what lets Jesus down, and I don't know if you've seen this in his game yet, but I expect you to see it the longer you have him is that his finishing does leave a lot to be desired. So I actually always thought Jesus was a better winger. I think his dribbling was mint. I think he, he, he's crossing. I think putting him on that right-hand side, I remember, I think it was last season or the season before, he actually started the season as a right winger. And I think he was getting assist after assist after assist. So it will be interesting to see the longer you have him. Everything's rosy with Jesus at the moment, but I think the longer you have him and when you need those goals... Will he, will he provide those goals? We've I'm made him so a sure. better player, mate. He's better now. He's better. There's no denying. Well, and also, we'll see. Um, Zinchenko. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. You made a big mistake letting him go because that's now a bit of a problem area for you guys, isn't it? Well, I mean, Robbie, left-back has been a problem area at Manchester City for the last seven years. The problem with, with Zinchenko is I didn't... When we sold him, I had no problem with us selling him. The fee at the time, I think everyone you know, would accept that. I think City at the time looked at that 35 million, I think it was, and went, great deal. The problem wasn't necessarily letting Zinchenko go. The problem is that we didn't replace him. We didn't replace him. We went for Cucurella. We pulled out of that deal because it was too expensive. And we've ended up with Sergio Gomez at left back, um, who's, 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 not, who's, who's just not good enough at, at, at this level. So I, I, at the time, I wasn't complaining about Z selling Zinchenko. I still don't necessarily complain about selling Zinchenko now. It's just the fact that we didn't replace him. He's gone to Arsenal. 
I don't really think he's doing too much different at Arsenal than he did at Manchester City. Yeah, but City. you strengthened a rival. That's what, and that's where yeah, but we didn't know that he was a rival. Exactly. We didn't know he was going to be a rival. See, we just needed a couple more bits and you gave it to us. Right? So, that's yeah. so you've got to look on it and say that Pep's made an error because he, he, he's strengthened. He didn't think we was a rival, but he's actually turned us into a rival by giving us those two players that have been integral to, to our performances this season. So he, is, he has, in effect, strengthened the rival. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I 100% agree with that. But when you get 35 million quid for, for, for Zinchenko, I think, you've, you, and you look at Arsenal and you go, are they realistically going to be title contenders next season? No. There I think, you, I think, Made I a think you have to do it. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.